Hello, hello, Sand Fam, and welcome to the Wednesday Game Maker tutorial stream. I did forget to update the title, so you know, sorry if you came here thinking it was Vox and it's Monday on a Wednesday. Uh, it's definitely not. Um, but yeah, we are doing the Game Maker stream today, and we're going to do a little tutorial, and we're also going to be playing some game jams, some Steve Aoki game jams. Uh, because we did have the Steve Aoki game jam end on uh, last weekend, or we can't hear you. Oh, okay, wait. Let's see. You can't hear me at all because it looks like my mic is just doing fine. Let's see. Can you still not hear me? Very low. Okay. All right, let's see if we turn it up a little bit. Is this better? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Better? Is it better as in it is a little better or should I turn it up more? Because I've turned it up quite high, more than I usually do. But I can, I can do a little more. I can do more. Is this better? Are we doing fine? Bit more up, bit more up. Okay, we're turning it real up today. Don't know exactly why that's going on. Up more, please. Okay, wait. I don't know if anything happened to my um, my mic settings or something. So let me quickly check that. Because on my OBS, everything is currently turned up almost to the max, which is not usually something that I do. So let's just make sure that it is actually picking up. Is it picking up the correct mic? Maybe not. It is. Okay. That's good. Is this uh, working? Is this better? Oops, that was a lot. Is this any better, everyone? Can you hear me better now? Is this better? Is this good better? Or is it still only like a little better? Hey, Mosquito. Now good, okay. All right, so that was a bumpy start to the screen. The stream. I have no idea why the volume is low because everything everything is turned up pretty high, higher than I usually do. So kind of weird, but you know, uh, I'll have a look at that after the stream. Maybe something else is uh, not right. But anyways, let's do the intro again because I don't know if you could even hear me. Hello everyone. Hello Sanfam. If you came in here thinking it was Vox Hit Monday, sorry about that. I forgot to up to update the title. I have done so now, but it is not Vox Edit Monday and Panda Pops is not here. It's just me, Vpire, Game Maker Community Manager. It's just me here. And we're doing Wednesday tutorial Game Maker stream and we're also going to be playing some Steve Aoki game jams and still getting used to seeing Vpire's face. Ah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of recent that I started doing the whole face thing. So my face is here and I look kind of different from what I did in the videos that I made like a year ago. Um, and I hadn't been on camera since then. So people might be surprised to see that I look entirely different from what I did back then. Um, but let's get started on a few news thing. Let's uh, swap the screen real quick. There we go. Um, first thing I just wanted to go through is that we've got a creepy pasta Vox Edit contest going on. And if you guys haven't entered, and if any of you are good at voxel art or just want to be part of the contest, um, you can enter this one and it ends on June the 6th. So you still got time. You've got about a week to finish up a nice asset. We've got both beginner and regular category. So if you want to submit to a beginner category, you can, if you don't feel like you're that experienced at voxel art, you can also submit to both categories. You can do that through the same form. I believe Panda has made it possible to submit to both categories in the same form. You will not uh, go through to voting in both categories. If you go through in the regular category, you will not go through in the beginner category. Um, but you can submit to both 
And, uh, you know, if you're lucky enough to go through devoting on regular, you're just not going to go through on a beginner category. Just just remember that. The theme is creepypasta, so basically just make something creepy. That is what we want to see. We want, you, we want to see you do something creepy. Um, <clears throat> not necessarily, uh, please not anything copyrighted, just in general. Just don't do copyright stuff. Uh, that's the same for game jams. That's the same for all contests. Just don't, just don't touch copyrighted stuff. But do something creepy. We do want to see creepy things. Um, so that was the first one. We're going to close this up. Next one. If you are a landowner and you have held a land for over three months at the time of this snapshot date, you are eligible to claim this landmark. So, you know, if you haven't seen that, go ahead and go to your claims and see if you've got your, your lovely little landmark here. Um, a little nice surprise for landowners, which was nice. That was nice. That was a nice surprise. I got one myself that I haven't claimed yet, but I've got it. And um, also worth noting is that we've got an update with the um, May Festival which there was a, there was a problem with the with the experience points um so we have now reduced the experience points needed or the eps needed as uh, you complete the event to 50 so now if you've had any problems with that um you are not going to have any problems anymore because you don't need anything more than 50 eps to complete the festival this also counts for the landowner uh, special rewards and the avatar holders special rewards so don't worry too much about that. You're going to get your rewards pretty easy this month. So that's nice. Um, and also, I believe it, it ends in maybe a couple of weeks. I forgot what date it ends up on uh, the festival, but you've got time. If you haven't done any yet, you've got time. And lastly, just wanted to point out to those who possibly hadn't seen yet, if you haven't seen, um, the multiplayer Parker is uh, the results are out. And they're posted here on Twitter. They're posted here uh, there on Discord. Um, so we had some fantastic submissions to this game jam. I'm really happy with how it turned out. There are even games that are not in the top 10 that I also thought were really in enjoyable and really good games. So I just want to say if you were not in the top 10, doesn't mean that your game was not good because we had a lot of good submissions to this game jam. Um, and I think these 10 are just fantastic games. We had some extra rewards for best idea, best design. This time, um, both best idea and best design were all rewards that went to people who were already in the top 10. But it is possible if you're not in the top 10 to also win best idea or best design. Uh, you could have a really creative idea, but you could have scored low on the other parts. Um, so yeah, that's, that's totally possible. But in this case, only people who were in the top 10. And of course, we are sending out participation rewards to the people who participated and followed our rules and guidelines. But please note that uh, while we have sent the wallets out for reward distribution, the rewards have not been sent yet as far as I know, and you should allow up to three weeks for the rewards of distribution. So if you haven't seen it yet, don't worry about it. It will probably be just a little while before you get it. It might not be all the way up to three weeks, but it could be just as long as you are aware of that. Okay. So let's say hello to some people because there's so much chatter going on. Hey, Wicked You, hey, Little Legion, and hey, Sandman on YouTube. Hey, Sam Jennings on YouTube. Hey, Bert, hey, Hades, and hey, Garnikin. Loved your game in a game jam, by the way. And who else do we have? Wicked You, Marshall on YouTube. Lots of people. That's nice to see. Thanks for joining today. We are going to start up the game again in just a moment. Or oh, well, we already did start it up, really. It's here. It's right here. Uh, We're going to do just a small tutorial today um, because I have realized that while I have been able to do a tutorial that lasted for an entire stream the other times, it is sometimes difficult to make a tutorial fill out an entire one hour stream. Um, because not all tutorials are that complex. So, you know, you touch on small topics. I could potentially go through a, diff a few different ones, but today we're just going to do a small one and we're going to then play some game jams. I am going to drop a form that I want you guys to fill out if you have any suggestions for um, 
excuse me, for um, for any uh, any tutorials that you would like to see. I'm going to drop that right here in just a second because it'll be nice to know for me if there are any kinds of t tutorials that you would like to see for the game maker. So if you will fill this out, if you've got any ideas, let me know. Uh, I'm not going to be closing this before the end of the stream. Um, actually, I'm not going to be closing it at the end of the stream either. So if you still have the link or something and you want to fill it out, go ahead. I'm just going to keep it open. And if anyone uh, posts in it, that's great. I've got a suggestion for something that you want to see. You need permission. What permission do you need? <gasps> oh no. Okay. Let's quickly fix that. Let's quickly fix that. Okay. Uh, there, there. <clears throat> Just a moment, let me fix that for you and then we will proceed. Okay, this should work. If you could please enter that form instead real quick and tell me whether you're all good to fill it out. Okay. So what we're going to be looking at today, we're going to do a quick tutorial for loot chests um, and how to, to make that work, how to make them spawn open and spawn little, um, little loot for you it's just a quick little quick little uh, cheeky tutorial because i also want to play some game jams today v any beans about the future of the ai like farmer citizen predator melee enemy prey healer forms working good um so do you mean you want to know what's coming for farmer citizen predator melee enemy prey healer behaviors um i cannot share too much about that um, I can't share too much about that actually, so I'm not entirely sure what what the what the plans are and for when exactly. So unfortunately, no beans today. Do more solo streams, please. Solner on YouTube is saying, I will do one every Wednesday. <laughs> so um, I will think about adding more streams, maybe perhaps possibly on my personal channel, uh, if I feel like I've got the time to do so. Um, that won't be in the same time slot because this is my working hours. Uh, that should then be in the evenings. But let's see if that's going to be a thing. I'll let you guys know on my Twitter if we're going to do it. Um, but let's let's go and do this loot chest thing. Um, so basically, just made a loot chest. I'm opening it. It plays the animation. We've got some loot. Loot, pick it up. Um, I mean, um, I, I expect most of you know this, but if you're a beginner in the game maker, love the trees. These are trees that I made for my game Dragon Rock. Um, they're kind of upgraded because the original ones I did, I made in a rush and did not have any texture. Um, okay, so let's, let's look at this little loot chest. We've got the chest itself. It's an animated decoration. And I've asked it to play the open zero one, um, animation uh, remember to set the play count to one or however many times you want it to play it is zero by default so if you end up trying to animate something and it's not animating it could be because you forgot to add the play count i've done that a couple of times um so do you remember to put that in and usually that'll be one i've asked it to play on receive message and the message that i've asked it to play on is spawn.loot so it is going to open once it receives that message. 
I've also added a speaker to this same asset and I've just uh, I've picked multiplayer behaviors and components for this they play together so just make sure that you know it's usually the best to not mix the two uh, the communication can be a little limited so it's a good thing to just pick either single player or multiplayer at least when you want things to communicate with each other we've got a speaker um, this speaker waits for message interact so basically it reacts to us if we interact with it and once we do that it sends a message spawn.loot to itself and it opens it plays the open um, animation so once the chest is open we also want loot to spawn and i don't want loot to spawn immediately because if it spawns immediately it's kind of going to spawn right on the chest and you know it's not going to be open yet and it's going to look a little weird as you can see here there's like a little animation running first so if i had not done a delay it would just sort of spawn on top of the chest and it would look a little wonky so i have also added a timer so we've got a timed event right here and we have set it to start at spawn.loot so when we interact with the chest it sends out the message spawn.loot this timed event receives the message spawn.loot and it takes one second before it sends out this message loot.drop so I've set, I've set the timer to one second and you can adjust that depending on the speed that this animation goes or however long this animation takes for it to open personally I would have maybe adjusted it slightly because it feels like it's just slightly too early but that's fine um it's just for the sake of showing it anyways so once it uh it has taken one second it's going to send a message loot.drop it's going to send it to this logic component right here which is an asset spawner and it's going to spawn you can spawn a preset if you want to if there's if that's something you want if you want something special to be on that equipment or whatever it is you're spawning you can you can do that um, but for the simplicity of this we're just doing an asset I'm going to pick my um, oak wizard staff and I'm going to give it collectible component because otherwise you can't pick it up so you know that's important I, I have t I've turned physics off because we don't really want collision on a collectible generally that's kind of wonky and it looks kind of weird it makes your avatar do a little weird jump um so we turn off collision this one has message required loot.drop so this one needs the loot.drop message sent by the timer for it to actually drop uh the loot so that is how this works um additionally this chest have has no collisions because if I did turn on collision let's quickly go here if I had turned on collision uh, hold on uh, if I had turned on collision I would not be able to jump up, up here because the animation actually goes to like the top of the lid so I would have to turn it off in order to be able to jump on but then we need to replace something else to to add that collision okay one second So, we took off collision from the chest and we have to add a different collision. So I've put a stone slab there. There we go. Here, made it invisible and um, put it inside the chest so that we cannot actually enter, enter the boundary of the, the chest and made it so that we can stand on top of this surface where the chest opens. Doop. Now we can't enter the chest, we can't go into the chest, even though it doesn't have collision, but we can stand on it and we can pick up the loot. So, these are very simple mechanics. Most of you, if you're experienced with the Game Maker, you probably already know this, but if you're inexperienced with the Game Maker, this is a nice one to know, because, you know, loot chests are something that you will probably come, come across um, when you want to create games. And Packless is saying, there are many mechanics seen in previous maps that are no longer possible with the new updates. For example, a flight mechanic with the ability to jump infinitely. 
it would be ni very nice to be able to use. Yes, there are things in, uh, you know, excuse me, sorry. Yeah, there are, with new updates, there are things that become impossible. There are new things that become possible. Um, I would say that, you know, the, the flight mechanic is a really cool one. Um, but it's it's obviously a workaround and you know, I would probably hope for having an actual flight mechanic in the future um, That's not something that I'm entirely sure if it's right now planned for um, But I would think a lot of the things that you use workarounds for right now are things that will be possible to do in the future um, Actual gravity module would be great. Absolutely. I agree. I agree that would be great. Um, I can't say for sure whether this mechanic with the flying is going to return. Um, my guess would be possibly not, um, but it might be replaced by something better. Uh, there's a pretty good possibility that it will. Controllable applied physics to an asset. Yeah. Hey, Dan Koi, nice to see you. And thank you for the, the nice message you sent in Discord in the Game Jam uh, chat. That was really nice to see the stream. Hey, Ice Pilot, what are you doing awake? This is a new time. Um, is it? Do you mean the stream is a new time or are you just in a different dimension because it's really late for you? Not sure which one. Anyways, <laughs> if you guys have any um, any questions about these mechanics, do let me know otherwise let me quickly link that form again if you have suggestions for the game maker tutorials if there are any tutorials you want to see please fill out this form i would like to see uh, what you might have in mind so that i can make nice tutorials for you thank you for everything vipaya you are absolutely welcome dan Hoy, and thank you for the feedback you've been giving it's very useful General game, game Jam question, the five minute videos, would it be a problem if a creator got somebody else to do and possibly host a recording? No, Garnikin, that is not a problem at all. All we really need is that we have a gameplay video that is from the beginning of your game. And I can also reveal for you that um, now in future game jams, it's actually going to be a full playthrough video. And this is because we're going to request that it's a full playthrough. Um, this is because we want to verify that, you know, the game is playable from from the, the, the beginning to the end. Sometimes judges may experience bugs in your game that makes it impossible for us to progress any further that has happened with a few games and it would then be nice to have a video that actually at least shows the rest of the game of course if you have a, a bug that breaks your game and makes you unable to progress that will have to be taken into consideration for the judging but it's still nice for us to be able to actually see uh, what happens in the rest of your game but no it doesn't matter if it's you or someone else who hosts um there's no problem if it's someone else, as long as it's from the start of your game and it's showing at least five minutes of, of gameplay. Mm, okay. All right, so let's do a game jam. Let me just pull up my sheet because I had one in mind that I wanted to try. I do think I saw the name in chat as well. Live made me, are you here? Because I want to try your game jam. Boop. Hey Vodact, nice to see you. You're welcome Garnigan. And also again, your game was really fun. I really liked the idea of it. I, I'm all for creative ideas and I thought it was fun, fun thing to try and jump on things that weren't really there you had to look in a mirror that was a really interesting detail and something i hadn't seen before you had to be really sharp for that one <laughs> took me a little while to complete because i kept falling because as you guys have probably seen by now i am not really that good at parker Garnikin says, did you enjoy it? I did. I actually did. I just thought it was a fun game. Um, 
with a fun concept. I think it kind of is right down my alley, that kind of game. Oops, I failed. More fun watching others fail? Well, then my stream should be fun because I fail a lot, especially if it involves jumping, which this one does. Okay, I've, I'm in focus mode, so sorry if I'm quiet for like a minute. <laughs> ah! No, no, I didn't get this. <laughs> but I did complete the crowd event, which means I think I'll be able to jump to the other side now. Yes, I can do it. Nice, okay. Um, stop daydreaming. The zombies are out about to break in. If they do, we won't be able to give out the free pizza before the concert starts. Oh no! An extra R in the free pizza. Oopsies. Um, okay, I'll handle this. No problem. You got good. I know. I know. I'm so awesome. Okay, I have to kill zombies. Five zombies? Five zombies. Kill the zombie, kill the zombie. Kill the zombie, kill the zombie. I like how they shamble. What is this red light about? Wasn't quite getting the point there. Where's the rest of the zombies? Is this a zombie? That's not a zombie. Okay then. Something is shining in the water. Is that a golden controller? I don't know. Maybe it is. Was the quest supposed to complete or something? Where's the, where's the last zombie? There's a zombie here. Okay. I'm a lifesaver. Yes. Take the first part of the special cake recipe. Your fans will need that cake. Oh, and if you see any more controllers lying around, gather them for me. Sure. So the fun thing about the Steve Aoki game jam is this might as well have been a cake game jam. Cake themed game jam. Because almost all the games in this game jam are about cake. I mean, I know the reference for, for Steve Aoki. It makes sense because it's Steve Aoki. <laughs> it's a whole lot of cake in this game jam. Find a golden controller. Repire, will you be at the NFT conference in Portugal? No, I will not. Unfortunately, I, w I wish I would, but I will not because it is um, logistically a little difficult for me to be traveling around with small children and doing these kinds of events. Um, so, you know, once my children grow a little bit more I will probably be a little more free to do these kinds of things, but for now, no, I will not do that. Sadly, I've discovered past events. A relic that takes you to the past to alter reality. Okay. Areas where it could be useful are marked with this mystical runestone scattered across the oasis. To use past events, interact with any runestone by pressing E. You have 60 seconds to notice and take advantage of the changes in your environment. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I need to click this runestone. Past events. So what changed? This boat wasn't there before, was it? Uh oh, I died. Oh, the jellyfish killed you? Or killed me? Not you. Didn't kill you. Is it the jellyfish that kill you? Ah, okay. Okay, so I get on the boat and I get the golden controller if it would let me jump out of the water. No? Okay, there we go. Did the timed event thing, the, the past event thing stop? Is this also a past event? Can I activate it? They're jellyfish, you can't stay here. Okay. Hey, play games for fun over on YouTube. How you doing? Um, let me also drop a form, by the way. Um, not the form that I've already dropped. 
I also have a weapon crate to give away to you guys by Panda Pops because she is a wonderful person who has allowed me to give away some of her awesome weapon crates. What is your name? I'm Vipire. I am the game maker community manager in the sandbox. Uh, okay, weapon crate, energy giveaway. There you go. Go ahead and fill out that form if you want a chance at winning one of Panda Pops's weapon crates. If you already earned one, please don't enter uh, because you won't win one again. Okay, next one. Find a special recipe. I still need to find a special recipe. How do I find a special recipe? Is that by doing quests? Is this little sparkly stuff a quest? Is that a quest marker? Will there still be one game jam after that? Do you mean after Steve Aoki? I mean, yes, there we have game jams planned all the way till somewhere around end of the year already. They're already scheduled um, and, and planned out and there will be one soon TM. Um, it's not too far away. I will announce it in advance so that you have a little while to, to sort of prepare yourself mentally and whatever else you might want to do. Um, yeah. So, one of the sound systems is not working. I think there is a problem with the wiring. Can you check it out and come back when it's fixed? On today's stream. Ah, you mean whether I'm going to be playing one more. It depends because we've got about 20 minutes left. It depends how long I take to finish this game. Is it this sound system? Fix the sound system connection. I, I mean, I can't touch this one, so is it the wire up there? You did say the wiring, and the wiring is going up there, so... Let's do that then. Do I need to do something with this past event thingies? Yep. Oops, okay. So they move. Good to know. If there's time for another game jam, um, Malzir, I will do another one. Oh, there's a zombie. Uh, but if there's not time, then I will not. It depends. All depends. Another zombie. Pictures. Brains. Brains. Oh, wiring. Right. Wiring was what I was trying to fix. Fix. Does weapon crates one from Panda matter or only from your stream? If you have won one at all, because I'm going to be using the same spreadsheet as Panda, I'm sharing that one with her. Um, so if I see you on that uh, spreadsheet, whether you've won it on her stream, on her personal stream, on her sandbox stream, or on my stream, you will not win it again. So if you already have one through, you know, forms, you're not going to win another one. Do, 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 do. What else are we doing? Are we done with that? This guy I cannot talk to yet. Do I need to go back and talk to this dude down here? Oh, you think you can dance here? Uh huh? Here's the channel. Uh, the challenge. I can talk. If you can beat Mind Control version 1, I might give you a special gift. Press E on the dance floor to begin. How many monitors do I have? I technically, I just have one. I used to have two, but now I just have one. But I am using a secondary one um, from my husband's PC that I have connected to mine so that now he can't use his. <laughs> so that that's uh, a little annoying for him, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I feel good. Okay. We. I do want to buy another one. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> I do need to buy another one so that he can actually use his computer while I stream because you know that kind of sucks for him that I, he can't but uh, also <laughs> it's kind of impossible to do streams with just one monitor I wouldn't be able to see the chat wouldn't be able to control my OBS wouldn't be able to do anything okay let's start this one press E you have 100 seconds to get 200 points are you ready to move I feel good okay let's do it what do I need to do yellow Green. 
yellow. Oh, yellow. Okay, red. Uh, blue. Oh, I need to st I need to do it when it hits the white arrow. Okay, I get it. I get it. I understand. Blue. Green. Oh, I did it too early. Green. And blue. I kind of wouldn't mind if this was slightly faster so that it felt more challenging and then you had to redo it if you failed. Because right now I'm kind of waiting for the arrows to get to the white arrow so that I am allowed to do my dance move. So if it was a little faster, it's a fun idea. I think it's a pretty fun concept right now. It's like a dance dance thingy thingy. Uh, whatever that's called. <laughs> Uh, it's just a little show. Nice mechanic. Yeah, it is a nice mechanic. Quite like it. Just wish it was slightly faster. That's all. My only complaint. Woo! Cool moves! Here you go, you earned it. What did I earn? Oh, okay, here it is. Special recipe. For the crate quest. And I need to start this one again. Okay, I can start them again. Okay, I didn't even know that. You can actually start these. Oops. More than once. So that's good to know. Boop. I quite like this mechanic with the past events as well. That's kind of a cool one. It's it's an interesting little touch uh, to do like in the past something used to be different and you can take advantage of it and there's a little timer on it. I think it's cool. Um, okay, quest marker. Little shiny stuff. Are you going to be able to give me a quest? No? Okay. What about you? What about this? What am I supposed to do? Oopsie. So, one thing. Did I have to talk to this guy again? No. One thing I do want to say, if your game ever reaches this part where you know, people don't know what to actually do, that's, that's not a good sign. You do want to make it so that it's intuitive. Is it because the past event is active that I'm not able to talk to that guy? Because it feels like this is the guy I need to talk to. He's got he's got the shiny stuff above him for the quest marker. That's as far as I can tell the quest marker of uh, their choice for this game. Does anyone see anything else that I may want to activate or something? What's going on over there? Why is she flying in the air like that? <coughs> Maybe the stage? I feel like the stage is probably some... Oh, she fell under the ground. I don't know if you guys saw that. She was flying in the air just before, but now she's on the ground. Oh, maybe that they, do we have to do something with her to save her or something? Because it looks like this dude over here is crying that she fell down. I can push this. Oh, she fell from the stage. <coughs> okay. Uh, past event thing. Okay, let's let's do let's see what we can do here. Okay, there she is. She's falling. Let's push it. And she fell in. Okay. All right. All right. I like that. Hey, Elena honeys. Welcome to the stream. Well, that was close. Glad you're around. Go ahead to the volleyball game. I'll let Tom know you're ready. Okay, so now we have to go to the volleyball ball thingy. Um, so... This was fun. I liked the idea of, you know, having to save this person by using the past events thing. It was not clear that I had to go here. It was in fact not really clear I had to go anywhere after finishing the dance dance evolution kind of quest. Um, so while I think this game is really good, I think a little more direction for what to do. So let's go and talk to this guy. 
who I can now talk to. You're back, coach said you're ready. Do your best. I may have something for you if you win. Is it by any chance, ooh, a uh, cake recipe thing? Oh, I have to play volleyball. That's nice. Will there be timed event guides on the next streams? Um, do you mean that you would like to have a timed events tutorial? Because can do, can do. Uh, I don't know if you filled out the form that I sent for game maker tutorial suggestions, but if you did not, I can note it down <coughs> and I can think about doing a tutorial for that. Uh oh, I dropped the ball. I'm so good at volleyball right here. Um, I mean, I can, do you want me to link that form again? I can also do that. If you fill out this form, I will. Um, if you want a stream or a tutorial for timed events, do you fill it out in this. If you have any other suggestions, you can use the form for that as well. Um, okay. So, we finished this one. Now what? Let's kill this zombie who wants pictures and brains. Okay, there's a sparkly guy over here. And a zombie. Not entirely sure what the zombies are doing here. But, you know, all good. Oh no, I lost a cake recipe! I had it last night! Oh no, dude, why did you lose it? Hmm, we tested the cake cannon right last night too. Did we? Okay. S find the special recipe. Timed events. There's a cake up here. Past event cake. Hey, over here. Where? This guy? Was this guy here before? Yes. Oh, there, 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 there. There he is. Hey, over here. There he is. Okay, so, oops, I just rolled through him. No worries, you can roll through him. He doesn't mind. There you go. Okay, so you just have to follow his train. <laughs> he's, being, he's being chased by a bird, as you do. Oh, and he's got the recipe. There it is. There it is. So you dropped it when you got chased by a bird. Well done, dude. Well done. And he, the whole Steve Oakey's concert was about to go wrong because of a bird. I now need to launch the cake cannon. Okay. Let's launch it. Let's launch the cannon. Ugh. What do I need to do? Press E. Oh, I launched it. Okay. So I use these, this turntable to turn it. Press E on the turntable to aim can the ca cake cannon left and right. Press E on cake cannon to launch a cake. Okay. Um, do I need to turn it again? Okay. Do I have targets or something? Because I don't really see targets. Not entirely sure who I was supposed to... I guess I have to do it again. Oopsie. Where am I supposed to hit it at? I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to hit it. Does anyone see anything obvious for like where I'm supposed to Oh, this guy dropped his sign. Okay, there were signs out there that I was supposed to hit. Okay. Well, looks like I finished. When a game jam has ended and the announcement is out, like it is for the Parkwood games, we are allowed to make changes, improvements, right? Yes, you are. So once you have submitted a game to a game jam, you just don't touch that until we are done with announcing the results. 
that is because you don't really know when we're voting and we want to make sure that you know it's fair and you haven't changed the game um when while we're voting on it so we ask you to please not change the game in that period of time however what you can do if you want to you can make a copy of the game that you made and just keep the original copy and update the new copy so if you want to make updates you can do but you need to make sure that you make a copy after the results are published it doesn't matter what you do with your game that is all your you know yours to do with it's your game it's um it's it's something you can keep developing as much as you want if you are the winner and i believe possibly there is a possibility if you're in the top 10 and the gmf likes what you're doing uh there's a possibility they might also contact you but the top one or the number one winner will be contacted um by gmf and they uh, might i don't know if they mind if you've changed up your game i mean i would assume that you'll change it for the better um if you want to this is not official advice or anything but if you want to you can always make a copy of the original game even after the results have been announced so that you have it in case someone requests it and then work on developing the other copy but there is nothing stopping you there's no rule saying that you cannot you cannot work on the same file um of the same game that you submitted after res results are announced <clears throat> Okay, so we finished this game. It looks like there wasn't much of a an ending. I mean, there was an ending. We did the last quest, but are we done? Doesn't feel like much happened. But anyways, I want to do the uh, form real quick. Let's do the weapon crate giveaway. Uh, I'll close up that form. We are towards the end of the stream. So let's do that real quick. Um, let me sort these submissions, make sure there are no duplicates. Boop, 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 boop. There are not. And let's do revolve. Okay. Let me just real quick check if this person have has won before, and if they haven't, I'm gonna go ahead and draw that winner. Oops. They have not. So, over on YouTube today, which is awesome because we don't usually have that many on YouTube as opposed to Twitch. So I'm always happy to see some YouTubers, not YouTubers, but YouTube people, uh, getting some some rewards. We have Solner Blake over on YouTube. Congratulations, you won a Panda Pops Weapon Crate NFT. Um, she will send this to you within, I think, six plus weeks. So don't worry if it takes a little bit long for it to arrive. Um, it is just because gas fees can be a little high and she doesn't want to send it while the gas is high so uh, allow for some time to go by before you uh, get it but congratulations you have won the weapon crate enjoy 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 uh, ggs ice pilot says yes ggs okay um we have about five minutes left so i don't think we can do another game jam today um going to close up this one this one and then I want to quickly open this and just say that we have uh, the multiplayer Parker results are out I think you've already seen that let's quickly look at the Vox edit contest the creepy pasta I shouldn't have closed it at the start of the game uh, of the of the stream but for those of you who weren't there at the start, we've got a creepypasta box edit contest out. There is approximately another week to go. It, it closes on June 6th. So if you want to participate um, in this box edit contest, do get creating. There's still time. Um, create something creepy. That is all we really want. Don't do anything copyright because we don't like that. 
Um, <laughs> but do 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 something very nice and eerie and creepy. That is what we want to see. We've got a beginners category. We've got a regular category. If you want to submit to both categories, you can. Um, if you have won, I believe in the last three months in the regular category, you will not be eligible for the beginners category. And if you submit to both and you go through on regular, you will not be taken into consideration for the beginners category. So just keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> but yes, this is here. Also, land claim, or not land claim, but land owner claim. We've got this nice little um, landmark that you can claim if you have been a landowner for three plus months at the time of this snapshot on April 30th. Um, so if you've done that, or if you've been that, you can now claim this little landmark um, in your claims. So go ahead and do that. Uh, let me open up chat again because I closed it and it... What's up, Vipire and Sandfam? Hey, not Jackie Chan, we're about to wrap up. You're a little late. But hey, anyway, it's nice to see you. Um, Folklore 2.0. Folklore had the same preview picture, did it? Actually, I thought I remembered this picture as well. Um, this this one, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But I mean, it fits for this one as well. I think most of the folklore um, submissions, if I remember correctly, they were very sort of, a lot of them were Asian inspired myths. Um, I didn't see a lot of ones that I expected to see. Um, that may be because I don't know if there are a lot of Asian uh, based people who participate in voxelic contests. Probably, I guess there is. Um, I, I kind of thought I would be seeing a bunch of vampires and all these things and I am a person who loves vampires. Maybe you know you, you kind of figured that out from my name. So <laughs> I was kind of looking forward to that and there weren't any. That was sad. I didn't see any at least. Does the claim expire? Dan Koi says. I don't believe so but I should double check that. I don't think it expires. Um, but anyways, yes, the folklore uh, did indeed have the same display picture, but I think it fits pretty well for this too. I mean, creepy stuff, right? Creepy little, what is she even? This little girl here, is she a zombie? This looks like the girl from the ring. Don't make copyright stuff. All landowners get the obelisk. Um, I do believe not all landowners, you need to be uh, who have held land for over three months. So if you at the time of this snapshot have held lands um, for over three months, then you can claim. <clears throat> That's any land or specific area? Um, any land. You designed the front of that obelisk, not Chaka Chan? That's awesome. That's awesome. Well done. Okay. Um, let's wrap this up right here because we are at the end of the stream. I did the winner, didn't I? Yes, I did the winner. <laughs> um, let's make sure that uh, Aaron, I don't have anything else lined up that I wanted to talk about. I don't. So thank you everyone for joining. We have done a slight little tutorial, uh, not a slight one, or not a tutorial, if I could talk. We have done a Game Maker tutorial, we have done a tutorial for how to do a loot chest, and then we have um, done a Game Jam, we've played through Game Jam, we've gone through some news, and um, now we are at the end of the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys will join me next Wednesday for another Game Maker tutorial stream. I'm going to have a look at your suggestions that you submitted through the form, and see if there are any, um, I mean, which ones that I would like to do, and when. Um, and then I will get right on that. So thank you for filling in that form, those of you who did. Very helpful for me to know what actually people want to see. Um, so thank you everyone for joining. Um, and I will see you on next Wednesday. Bye bye.